Now there's thousands of Muslims coming out of the Old City and the Temple Mount on the first Friday of Ramadan. There's a heavy police presence here following the attack in Tel Aviv. That was an attack at a trendy cafe by two terrorists who killed four Israelis and wounded several more. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu praised international condemnation of the terror attack, but said the Palestinian Authority had yet to respond. I heard with appreciation the strong condemnation from the leading capitals of the world for these despicable acts of murder, but I did not hear such a condemnation from the Palestinian Authority. For the first time since the current wave of terror attacks began last fall, the UN Security Council condemned, in the strongest terms, the Palestinian terror shooting in Tel Aviv that left four dead and more than a dozen wounded. The council said those responsible for these killings should be held accountable. Any acts of terrorism are criminal and unjustifiable, regardless of their motivation, wherever, whenever, and by whomsoever committed. Israeli police were out in mass in Jerusalem during prayers on the Temple Mount on the first Friday of Ramadan. Here at the Damascus Gate, the mood was quiet, as opposed to the celebrations that took place here following the attack. Israel cordoned off the Hebron area village of Yatta and arrested an accomplice to the attack. In this video released by the IDF, soldiers are searching the home of one of the terrorists. Israel also canceled more than 80,000 permits for Palestinians from the West Bank who had hoped to visit holy sites and relatives in Israel during Ramadan. Funerals for the victims took place on Thursday and Friday, but even as Israelis mourned their dead, they showed their resilience, returning to the Sarona market a day after the attack. Some sat in a circle around an Israeli flag singing songs. Politicians came too. These were not terrorists in brackets. These were terrorists who came to kill citizens and frighten Israelis and try to break their life cycle. And that's why we are here in Sarona to show that life continues as usual and we will not give up and we will never be deterred by terror. Netanyahu visited the site of the attack for a second time. Surrounded by incredible security, Netanyahu met the owners of the restaurant and sipped coffee in the trendy Sarona market. We will win. While Israelis mourn their dead and wounded, some Palestinians celebrated. For example, the head of Hamas, Ismail Haniyeh, tweeted, glory and salutations to the Hebronites. He also included a victory sign emoji. Hamas said it was just the first surprise in store for Israelis during the month of Ramadan. This footage of applause and cheering comes from Jerusalem Arabs at the Damascus Gate. These pictures are of Palestinians in the West Bank passing out candy to celebrate the attack. So why are they giving out candies in the street? Because when a population is told that this is what their God wants of them, this is going to bring about uh, the redemption of humanity, killing the Jews is a condition for the redemption of humanity. So of course, then it's a celebration every time an Israeli is killed. Itamar Marcus, director of the Palestinian Media Watch, says killings in the recent wave of terror are glorified not just by Hamas, but also by Fatah, the political party of the Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. During this entire terror wave, which began in October 2015, the Palestinian Authority and Fatah, the ruling party of, uh, of Mahmoud Abbas, have given absolute support to the terrorists who murdered four Israelis yesterday, who were captured by Israel, are now going to go to jail. And from this day onward, they will now be receiving salaries, monthly salaries from the Palestinian Authority. How can the Palestinian Authority expect the world to believe that they are fighting terror, that they are against terror? Marcus believes unless the indoctrination stops, murders like the one in Tel Aviv's Sarona market will continue. Christian Broadcasting Network CEO Gordon Robertson condemned the attack and said in a statement, that CBN was mourning the deaths of innocent Israelis. He also said every act of aggression against the Jewish people will only fortify a resolve to support their right to have a Jewish state in the land of their forefathers.